Pokemon X and Y were the Generation 6 Pokemon games, which were actually the first Pokemon games to not get a third variation. I know technically Black and White didn't either, but they were followed up by Black and White too, so I'm just going to count that as a third variation because it kind of follows up on that storyline. And also this fan trailer footage is made by Nintendo. Make sure to check out the full trailer, link will be down in the description below. Fans really wanted to see Pokemon Z and that would feature Zygarde on the cover art. There are no official or solid answers as to like why Nintendo decided to scrap or not do a follow up game to X and Y or make a third version, but there are some theories and assumptions out there from the community. One of the most straight up and most likely reasons for this game to not receive like a sequel or a follow up or a third installation is just because they don't typically sell very well. You know, a lot of people already have played one of the first of the two versions of the Pokemon games, so they don't feel the need to play the third ones. Like for example, Pokemon Gold and Silver sold about 24 million units, but Crystal only sold about 6 million and Diamond and Pearl sold about 18 million units, but Platinum only sold about under 8 million units. Actually, I was one of the people that bought Pokemon Platinum. I don't regret that. I think it's the best out of the three. Just a great game. I'd love to replay that one day. Anyways, I think another thing to factor in is just kind of the time restraints for gaming companies, especially in this situation, a gaming company like Pokemon, because they release a game almost every single year. And that's just constant development and like constant planning and stuff like that. If you're releasing a game every year, you got to work around the clock, basically. Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby were the games to come out the following year after x and y so maybe all of their focus went to those games you know they didn't want to put too much on their plate so they focused more on the remake of ruby and sapphire rather than a pokemon z or a follow-up or x and y2 whatever they might have called it which i mean kind of worked out because omega ruby and alpha sapphire were really popular and people love those as a remake i'm still playing through alpha sapphire right now i'm going on a trip soon so i hope to finish it on like the airplane or something or while i'm on my trip some fans out there really believe that there would 100 be another game after x and y to follow up that storyline because they felt like x and y were almost incomplete and that it didn't have enough new pokemon in that generation which is kind of true there was only like 76 or 73 there's 70 something new pokemon in the generation 6 which really isn't that many and i think that they might have actually started production with pokemon z or whatever they would have called it because there were some files that were implemented in some games that kind of mentioned that or, or would have suggested that and 2015 was a year with no Pokemon games, which a lot of people believe would have been the year for Pokemon Z to actually release. Around that time, there were so many other Pokemon games either being conceptualized or created or planned for, you know, a few years ahead of time before their release, and the Switch ended up releasing in 2017. So it kind of seems like Nintendo and the Pokemon company just had so much going on at one time that they just had to prioritize the most important games and the most important things to them. Like, if the Switch was coming out in 2017, that means they also had to plan ahead of time to get a, a Pokemon release on the Switch, which uh, would have been Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And you know, they also released Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon and stuff. So they had to get these games out before the Switch came out while at the same time creating a game for the Switch. It's kind of stressful to think about, like there was so much on their plate at one time within a short few years span because if you think about, you know, like 2013, which would have been X and Y's release year all the way to 2017, that kind of sounds like a large gap of time, but in reality, that's only a few years and having a Pokemon game come out almost every single year would have been kind of crazy. So I kind of think that in 2015, they might have planned for a release of Pokemon Z or Pokemon, you know, X, Y, 2 or whatever, but they just kind of skipped that year to focus more on the other upcoming like three or four Pokemon releases because if you don't know, they actually pretty much come up and start developing Pokemon games like years ahead of its time. You know, it's not like they create like one Pokemon game within just a few months. It, there's a lot that goes into it. There were also other files like leaked in 2020 about like everything Pokemon and Nintendo did from I think the years like 2013 to 2017 maybe. I might be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there were a bunch of leaked files, leaked information, and there were actually two blank gaps that were uh, Kalos Game 1 and Kalos Game 2 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what the file name was, but it was basically Kalos Game 1, Kalos Game 2. So it kind of seems like there might have been a pair of Pokemon games coming out that would have followed up X and Y, but they were just ultimately scrapped. 
I think it would have been so awesome to see a Pokemon Z or another game to follow up that storyline, as X and Y kind of had some empty spaces where the storyline was just kind of off and the post-game content wasn't that great. I mean, I still loved X and Y, like I still have a lot of nostalgia for those games. I recently played uh, Pokemon Y last year, I thought it was really fun, I, I truly enjoyed those games. I played X as a kid. And then somehow I ended up losing my 3DS and I lost that game along with some of my other Pokemon games. But eventually I got Pokemon Y, played through the game again, and it was a lot of fun. Definitely see where uh, there's some missing gaps that could make the storyline better. In my opinion though, it's never even too late to go back and create another modern day game based on that storyline to add on to it. Maybe retcon some things that would make the storyline even better or something like that. I mean, I think that'd be kind of smart on the Pokemon Company's part to create new versions or additional games to some of the old OG games, you know, as long as they do good. Because, you know, sometimes it's kind of scary if they go back to old games and they could possibly mess up the storyline or just make it worse or make the first games maybe not as enjoyable at times. But, like, you know, now in today's modern world of Pokemon, there's going to be a day where there are just way too many Pokemon out there. Or maybe the games aren't going to be as unique or as original anymore. So it would be kind of cool to go back and maybe add on to an old storyline or maybe or maybe take a little part of a previous game or previous story and maybe add on to it and expand on that. I think that'd be pretty neat. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would ever like to see a Pokemon Z in the future. I think it'd be pretty cool. I'd be down if they would make a game based on Gen 6 again, honestly. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.